Okay, I just got done uh, learning as much as I could from two of the best guys that have been in the business doing uh, a lot of the up wall construction in this area. They both now are working for the school district and uh, uh, there is no specialty box that uh, they're aware of and there's probably lots of ways to do this but um, they start out with a, a four square box. Uh, they'll run tape around it. Uh, just uh, uh, just some good duct tape or cheap, I guess. The only point is, is to keep the concrete from getting in the box. They go ahead and attach a deep mud ring to the box. Uh, this is a single gang. You can go two gang, of course. And uh, the, then you've got a grid of rebars, um, square openings that uh, you'll lay this out on. Uh, depending on how which bar you hook to, um, um, depends on how, how deep a mud ring you're gonna use or how far back you're gonna set it. Um, these are, are gun brackets, they're adjustable. Um, they, they've used rebar to mount to these boxes, but uh, they're, they really prefer these gun brackets because they are adjustable. And these ends, um, it can be bent and wrapped around the rebar on either side. And you, you might end up with the gun bracket going vertically when the wall is stood up or, or horizontally, just depending on where in that grid of rebar you're gonna stick your boxes. Um, the, you've got to account for a uh, year probably. And then, so they would get all these boxes laid out um, in the in the wall and attached to these gun brackets uh, with the boxes all taped up and then they'd run a chalk line um, the length of the the length of of the wall this to be tilted up before it's poured with concrete just the, the grid and then they'd use that chalk line to to get these level and positioned correctly so when it stands up everything's in place um, and then they pointed out that there's things you have to account for. Um, there's the lift point in the wall um, uh, that uh, if you put a box there, it could uh, be a, it'd cause a weak spot in the wall. So when they go to lift it with the crane, uh, the whole wall could come apart and there's, there you might be out $14,000 or something like that. But um, they're just referring to their experience. But usually you, you, if you're going by the plans and you've got the engineering there, um, then you don't. Then you'll you'll know where all that's at, and and of course the the wall when it's lifted up, um, there's a section of it that goes down into the ground, um, the footing that's below grade, and uh, you have to account for that as well. Um, uh, they've they've tilted, done tilt up walls where they're placing the walls um, face up because the finished side is going to be on top. They've done it also where the wall is face down. Um, in the in the grid, and and so, and it just depends on how that job is going. I hope this has been helpful, and thank you for the question. I learned a lot myself. Some jobs may require um, 10 mil tape. That's gets to be really expensive instead of uh, duct tape. Um, if you can get away with it, uh, the school district is finally. Uh, agreed to go to PVC for pullouts is what they're calling it the, the the conduct going between the boxes because it is just going through cement and PVC works best um, they've done a lot of jobs where for a time people were doing EMT and uh, that gets to be nightmarish and, and difficult so um, hopefully uh, sounds like the preferred way to go is PVC thank you